all-purpose cleaning spray. This is to clean your bathroom, your kitchen, this is to clean your walls and your home, your floor and everything. And today's video is brought to you by the complete book of natural homekeeping. I've had this book many years. If I can find the book, of course I will share it with you in the description box below. It has all kinds of natural recipes for housekeeping. And this one I thought was really interesting. So it's called all-purpose cleaner and it shows cleaning everything with it. And this is the recipe. It comes, it calls for one cup of the liquid soap blend. That I'm gonna show you how to make. And then it is one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of tea tree extract, and one eighth cup of alcohol. So I'm gonna show you how to make everything and it's really simple. What I'm starting to do is make recipes for all of you that are very small. That way you can give it a try and see if you like it for yourself. There's no use in making a big batch of something and then realizing it's something you don't really like. So to make this soap base is really easy. What I did was I grated one bar of soap and we're going to add that to water and we're just going to melt everything. Any kind of soap that you wish. As you know, I just made a recipe on making bar soap into dishwashing soap. So I hope you uh, watched that video if you missed it because I'm having a lot of cleaning recipes. I'm having a whole bunch of DIYs for you because I know we're living in an age where you can't go out and find everything you're looking for. And cleaning things are something that's really hard to find for a lot of us. So why not make it homemade? I'm going to try to share with you recipes for everyday items and things that you don't really have to buy a whole lot of. And so today we're going to make this cleaning spray. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bar of soap and we're going to heat it up with some water and then I'll show you how we put it all together. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to add two cups of water and a bar of soap. This is Dollar Tree lavender soap. Use whatever soap you wish, but like I said in previous videos, you don't want to use deodorant soap. But any bar soap, homemade soap, any soap you have will work out great. All right, we're going to heat this up until everything is dissolved. This is going to give me a double batch. This is going to give me two cups of the uh, soap. So I'm going to go ahead and make a double batch of this. If you want to make a single batch of it, you're going to use about a half a bar of soap and about one cup of water but I'm using a whole bar with two cups of water. So for a double batch of this, then it's gonna call for one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, so it'll be a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then it's going to call for a fourth cup of alcohol, which I won't add until after this is all heated up. My friends, homemade soap or bar soap, melt that. You can use this to clean all kinds of things. You don't have to have special cleaners for your bathroom or your kitchen. Some people love vinegar. I do not like the smell of vinegar. So you don't see many vinegar recipes for cleaning for me. I just don't like that smell. Almost finished. And then we'll put everything together. Right, so everything is melted now. So like I said, I'm making a double batch. If you want a single batch, you use a half of bar of soap and one cup of water. But while I'm making stuff, I like to do a double batch. That way I have it. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to pour it into this glass jar to mix everything. Now it is really hot, so probably best if you would let it cool, but I don't have the time of that because I want to make a video out for all of you. So I added it into this jar and it is hot. So now what it calls for is, since I'm doubling it, it's going to be calling for one fourth cup of alcohol. If you're doing a single recipe, it's one eighth. We're going to add the rubbing alcohol to the soap mixture. Then it calls for a fourth of a teaspoon of tea tree extract. Well, I'm going to go with about 
20 drops. 20 drops seems to be the a good amount. All right, everybody. That's how it is to it. It's so simple like that. Let me get a spoon and mix it up. Amazing. It just smells like such a good cleaner. If you're interested again, it's called the Complete Natural Housekeeping Book. It's all kinds of recipes. Save money, avoid harsh chemicals, and custom clean problem areas. Enhance your home's natural beauty. All right, so this is what it looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and get our spray bottles and put them in our spray bottles. In fact, probably most of it will fit in one. Almost. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my other one. question is, does it work? Well, let's give it a try, shall we? So what you're looking at is my kitchen door. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Oh, I see some bubbles. Look at that. It came right off. Take a look. Now, would it come off with just plain water? Probably so. But, it gives it a good shine. I love it. Absolutely love it. This is definitely a keeper for me. you got to see it does really work it's amazing has a really good clean smell and you know what it was so simple to make you can admit the uh, rubbing alcohol if you don't have that but the rubbing alcohol does give it more antiseptic properties in it antibacterial and it does really help kill germs so I hope you like videos like these it's thinking outside the box using items that you have at home and especially in these day and age when you can't get to the grocery store and when you do get there they're out of everything after I turned the camera off, I decided to clean my floor. Oh, and I want to let you know, it works amazing for the floor, too. I can't stop cleaning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What did I start? What did I start? Looks amazing. It has a beautiful shine and no film. Give it a try, my friends. Give it a try. Well, everyone, I wanted to share with you a blessing. So you remember the same place that I went to? Remember the place that I went to where they had the vegetable truck? Well, you know we can't do that anymore. But now they have it that you can drive up. And so this is what I got. And this is amazing. So they have it once a week, and it's such a blessing. And hardly anybody came to it, so I'm just so blessed. We got some chicken. This looks like chicken breast all kinds of food, all kinds of salads, all kinds of snacks and then over here we got tomatoes and bread and celery and onions so this is just such a blessing so I just wanted to share with you what I got and you're gonna see from week to week like Starbucks coffee I mean that is crazy and we got soup microwavable soup we got barbecue sauce. We got a roll of toilet paper, which I need. This is such a blessing. And so I wanted to share this with all of you a little bit in this video. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And a big bye, everybody.